Alright, uh, welcome back. This is part 23 of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. And yeah, what am I doing in my tuxedo and croc cap? Well, um, yeah, let me explain. Uh, yeah, I'm completely incompetent. And I forgot a very important item. It's back in the room where we met up with Ava. And, uh, yeah. You come over here, and there's a locker in the, you know, southwest corner of the room. And, yeah. I mentioned the other lockers earlier, but this one you can actually open, which I neglected to do. And, yep, down there we have thermal goggles, which I also mentioned. Thermal goggles visualizes heat source distribution, allows one to see in the dark, consumes battery power while used. Alright, so uh, enough about my incompetence, and um, yeah, so I'm going to have to be using this save state from now on, or not save state, save game, uh, and on this one I have beaten, I have played through already, so we have a few items and stuff that we're not supposed to have, I'll explain that later, but yeah, right now I'm going to fight my way through. Uh, complete the ocelot fight again. Actually, I want to check my backpack. Ro oh, not my backpack. My camouflage. Um, uniform. And we got this. Yeah, we got the raindrop and water. We had all those. Um, a snow uniform. That's new. I'm not really sure where I picked that up. <coughs> and the tuxedo you get after beating the game. So we're not supposed to have that either. But anyway, I've got some work to do. And uh, it looks like I got to beat, uh, yeah, it looks like I have to beat um, Ocelot non-lethally again. So we're going to come back after all that. Alright, so uh, yeah, this uh, codec call after a save, Snake, it was pretty cool. have you seen 007 from Russia with Love? Nah, I don't like those movies. Real spies are nothing like James Bond. It's pure fantasy. Snake, I don't think the manager's going to like me saying that. And even though it's fiction, I can't help but comparing myself to Bond. What exactly don't you like about James Bond? I mean, is it the fantastic gadgets? The cars? The guns? Major. Snake, wouldn't you like to have a gun shaped like a pen? What good is a pen gonna do me in the jungle? I'd look like a fool. Then what about a snake-shaped gun? You can make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake and then get a shot in on the enemy while they're distracted. Ah, okay, now you're being ridiculous. We'll make you a <laughs> snake-shaped gun that folds up and fits into an attaché case. Will you give it a rest? Oh, I get it. You're worried about how to handle the ladies, aren't you? No. I knew it. Hm, to tell you the truth, I don't like the idea of playing hanky-panky with enemy femme fatales either. But that's part of Bond's appeal. You could learn a thing or two from him. I mean, what about this Eva? What are you planning to do with her? I... I don't even trust her yet. No, that's not what I mean. You you can't let yourself get involved. This is a game of spy versus spy. She's using you just as much as you're using her. I realize that. You've got to grab the initiative. And to do that, you have to get the upper hand in the relationship. That's what a spy is supposed to do. Get the upper hand? I don't think I'm cut out for that mission. Maybe if you change your code name to 00 Snake. Major. 007 is the biggest thing to come out of England since the Mayflower. I wouldn't be surprised if they made 20 more of those movies. Didn't you know? The Major is a huge James Bond fan. Don't get him worked up like this. Worked up? Maybe you don't realize this, but now that you've got him started talking about Bond, I'm going to have to listen to him lecture for a whole hour after he gets off the radio. You have my sympathy. It's too bad you can't enjoy such a great movie, though. I guess I'm just one of those people who can't enjoy spy flicks. All right, so uh, yeah, let's get to uh, let's get to those caves. All right, uh, so now that we got all that nonsense out of the way, we're back here in uh, the cave, and there's the uniform animals. And yeah, this part is going to be really, really dark, um, and it's supposed to be that way. So, uh, first of all, let's check out some of the items and stuff that we're not supposed to have. Um, Alright, when you beat the game, you get uh, a single action army, that's the weapon that Revol uh, Ocelot was using. 
So I'm going to put that away because we're not supposed to have it. And also the Patriot, which has unlimited ammo. I'm going to put that away also. Um, take my AK and grenades. And yeah, that looks about right so far. Um, let's go back. Uh, and yeah, I wasn't able to grab the crocodile cap in uh, the other run, in the other save. So I, sh I think I showed you where it was or the general area, but we're going to put that away too. And let's see. Um, all right, good. We have that cardboard box, but what am I looking for? Oh, thermal goggles. Okay. So all that just for the thermal goggles, which actually in this area won't help us out much. Um, see, this is what it looks like. All the cold-blooded animals light up, too, which doesn't really make sense, but, uh, yeah, you can't really make out any walls or anything like that, but I'm still gonna be using those for, uh, just, um, cause it makes item boxes light up, too, so that'll come in handy, and, yeah, now I'm in some water, and this is really, really dark. Um, this whole part of the game, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but, um, eventually we should be able to find a torch somewhere. And was that a... I thought I saw a hole in this wall over here. Here we go. Alright, and, um, yeah. Uh, my stamina is also acting as my oxygen gauge because I'm underwater swimming right now and um, so my stamina depletes and my oxygen levels deplete so all right I just picked up a ration I guess and um, we're in a big hole all right uh, it's not really helpful right now so let's go back snake. And I'm taking a quick look just to see if there's anything floating around down at the bottom, but I didn't really see anything. So let's see if we can get out of this water. Yeah, it looks like a ledge right up here. Triangle. Alright. Uh, is that any hole right there? There's all kinds of uh, secret side paths and stuff in here, the, uh, that underwater tunnel I just went through, for example. Oh, here we go, here's a nice little item, um, Russian glow caps, um, let's see, I don't think you can trank plants, but let's see what happens, yeah, alright, our mushroom E, and what's that, another battery, um, and AK-47 bullets. Alright, well, um, yeah, those Russian glow, ah, Russian glow caps I just picked up, when you eat them, they recharge your batteries. And, uh, there's another way to use them later on, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that. There's a ledge up to my right, but it doesn't look like I can get anywhere else up here, so let's head back, I guess. I know that somewhere in these caves there is a torch, which will really help light the way. Um, and somewhere else there's a shotgun, I think. So we're gonna be we're gonna be looking for both of those. But um, yeah, I only have about one more minute, I think, to record because of. Uh, because of all that nonsense I had to go through. So, uh, yeah, let's just get exploring. And, um, we'll take care of that when the time comes. So, yeah, there's way too many, uh, 
way too many side entrances and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it here. And yeah, I guess we're going to cut off. So thanks for watching and make sure to come back for part 24 of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. See ya.